And we're back now with that new medical headline looking at how a vaccine could possibly prevent breast cancer using BRCA gene testing. ABC's Lindsay Davis is back with more on that story. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning again, Amy. Talking about Heritex this morning, it is being called one of the most transformative health initiatives of our time. Typically, when people think about cancer research, they think about finding cures. But the goal of this nonprofit is prevention, specifically for people with the BRCA gene. Take a look. Angelina Jolie shocked the world in 2013 when she had a preventive double mastectomy due to the fault of BRCA gene. It gives carriers a dramatically increased risk of getting breast cancer. Sisters Jan and Stacy took the same measure to save their lives. We always knew cancer was in our family. You always know it's coming for you. They too were BRCA positive and had double mastectomies six months apart six years ago. Having a preventative double mastectomy was a really easy choice. <laughs> It really was it, because one, like we said, we knew it was coming for us and we needed to be there for our daughters. The BRCA gene is hereditary, resulting in an 86% chance of getting breast cancer and also puts carriers at risk for ovarian cancer. The sisters lost a cousin to cancer and their mom, a two-time breast cancer survivor, is now fighting ovarian cancer. They take turns caring for her. And then one day it hits me that my daughter might have to do this for me. And it's just so frustrating and so makes you so angry. Between the sisters, they have three little girls under the age of 10 who all have a 50% chance of inheriting the gene. We don't want our daughters to have to go through that. You know, being a father, I want to do everything I can to stop that ever happening in them. To that end, they're putting their faith in Heritex, a global research organization focused solely on preventing inherited cancers using the BRCA gene as the key. So much focus for years has been on a cure, but you guys are talking about prevention. This is prevention. You're not curing anything. You're avoiding having the disease ever. Their plan is preliminary, but holds potential to have a vaccine available in the next 10 years to prevent BRCA-positive breast cancer from ever occurring. We know that there are some cells that are going down the path of becoming cancerous early on, and we want to eliminate those from everyone who has a BRCA uh, mutation. And so that's vaccines, medications, mm -hmm. and these trials? Any of the trials, yeah. Jan, a board member at Heritex, says she plans to have her daughters tested after they turn 18. And if they test positive, she's hopeful that by then, a double mastectomy won't be their only option for prevention. There could be a vaccine for an inherited cancers that kids get when they're around 12 or 13 years old, and they won't even have to think about any of their healthy cells ever turning into cancer cells. According to Heritex, about 10 to 20 percent of cancer patients have inherited cancer. Heritex already has a vaccine that exists that they say has the characteristics that will work best against BRCA-related cancers. They anticipate then in as soon as two years, they'll be able to start clinical trial trials with people trying out this vaccine. The potential here is transformative. They've already identified the cells that are problematic. Now it's just a matter of figuring out how to eliminate those cells before they become it's cancer. It's so incredible. Mm. I, have, I have chills just watching yep. that yeah. story, knowing that, yeah, the technology is just so in our favor. So thank you so much for bringing us that, Lindsay. We appreciate it.